Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. You have the Queen of Swords with the Three of Wands, the Five of Swords. Overall energy is the High Priestess. Now, when this came out, the first two cards that actually fell out were the Three of Wands and the Five of Swords, but they fell out face down. And then the Queen of Swords popped out um, it flipped over inside the deck. I had to like go fish it out afterwards. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like you are in this energy of the Queen of Swords here, Taurus, okay? And you're trying to keep some sort of drama at bay. Um, you're not really trying to have any sort of tomfoolery or, or, or whatnot. Um, I kind of, I really kind of feel like you're keeping to yourself with this Queen of Swords energy. You're kind of in some sort of a hermit mode here. Now, the Three of Wands and the Five of Swords fell out, but they fell out face down. There, and I feel like there's some sort of hidden ass. What I'm hearing is there's some sort of hidden aspect here. Um, you, I feel, I feel almost, and, and, and I'm, please, please bear with me because I'm having a little bit of trouble actually really like pulling out what this is for you here, but it's almost as if you're waiting for some sort of return on an investment. And yet that could be, that could be sabotaging you somehow, or that could be surrounded by some sort of competition, some sort of um, destructive energy, some sort of lose-lose energy here. And I, <laughs> what I feel like, what this is starting to feel like here is you're, you're in this Queen of Swords energy, whereas, and, and, and you're trying to keep some sort of drama at bay. You might be separating yourself from whatever is, it is that this Three of Wands energy represents for you. I kind of get the feeling that you may have tried to disconnect yourself from this three of wands energy, whatever is, whatever you are, you're in this energetic state of waiting for some sort of return on an investment. Okay. Yeah. This is starting to come together and make sense now you are in, and, um, but because this, because whatever this is for you, this three of wands energy is surrounded by all this drama and destructive energy, you have really taken steps to cut yourself free from that, to distance yourself from it because you don't want the drama. And yet with the high priestess energy here uh, as an overall energy for you, there are things happening underneath the surface or in the background or uh, um, the universe is working on your behalf. I feel like to clean up whatever drama is surrounded by this three of wands energy for you because you have successfully removed yourself from the situation with the Queen of Swords. And it's an energy of like not even trying to discuss it. I, there is no discussion here, okay? And this has been coming out with the Queen of Swords quite frequently lately as I've been in this energy of channeling for the collective and whatnot. The Queen of Swords has been coming out consistently. And each time it is a consistent energy of, I am removing myself from this situation and there are no, there is no discussion. I've made my decision. I don't want to be a part of this toxic energy. I'm moving away. I'm freeing myself from it. You guys can deal with this on your own because this has nothing to do with me any, more, any longer. And it, maybe it had something to do with me in the past, but now I am taking myself out of this. You're on your own here because I refuse to deal with this type of energy any longer. That's what I'm getting with this, all right, Taurus? And actually, that's a really good move. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. What I'm getting from this high priestess is praise. She's like, good good on you. You've learned your lesson here. Keep your distance. Excellent. All right. Let's move forward, Taurus. It's very interesting because I was, I sat here for a good minute or two just trying to decipher what that was for you. And it wasn't until I really started, I, I, I eventually I was just like, whatever, let me just start recording. And it wasn't until I started like really talking it through that it started to, to make sense. So it's interesting how that works out, huh? All right, Taurus, I'm going to give this one shuffle. I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't mind me. Taurus. Taurus energy. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. I don't know why Gemini was just creeping up in your reading here, Taurus. Um, Gemini is getting a little, I'm gonna do Gemini next, but they're getting a little bit overzealous here. You need to chill out a little bit. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Maybe you're on the cusp of Gemini. Um, also though, okay, I get it. Cause I was kind of picking up on like a, a divine counterpart. If you wanna call it a twin flame, you can call it a twin flame. Um, it's, that's your decision. I mean, it's really just the label. It really doesn't matter. Sorry guys, I know my mic is getting wrapped up in my, my necklace. Um, but Gemini, is the symbol of the twins and so divine counterparts twin flames i do kind of feel like that's what we were dealing with um and that's and i i was picking up on that and i was being influenced to say that but i just didn't because of my own resistance to the situation but um yeah okay <laughs> that was spirits inadvertent or or incognito or backhanded way of getting me to acknowledge that this is a twin flame or um, divine counterpart situation that I was picking up on there, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we're gonna move forward with the rest of your reading here, Taurus. Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve your highest good. Okay, to serve your highest good, Taurus, or their highest good, the highest good of all involved for the month of November 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you here. Now, keep in mind, um, also just a heads up, I do have my window open. So you may hear uh, a bunch of noise from the street. If it gets too crazy, I will um, close the window. But there are currently trucks rolling by. <laughs> All right, that was one. And my mic. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. My mic keeps getting caught up on my necklace. So I just want to reposition this because I know that sound is a little annoying. Okay. That was one, Taurus. This is two. Oh, my candle went out. That's okay. This is three. From a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Four. And five. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got for you here. Boop. Okay. Uh, give me just a second. I do, I'm being guided to relight. This is a Mercury retrograde candle. I am being guided to relight that. So I'm going to do that right now. And then we're going to get back into your energies. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Overall energy for you, Taurus. We have, oh, the Wheel of Fortune. All right. And what I heard again was the universe is working on your behalf. Okay. There's some sort of destiny. There's some sort of, and I feel like this is, you're in the process of manifesting this, even though you're taking, it may look very different on the surface. Um, on the surface, you're actually doing exactly what you need to do to distance, your, distance yourself from some sort of drama and whatnot, but also that's exactly what you need to do in order for something to manifest for you. Um, <laughs> even though for some of you that are like in this energy of, I never, I don't want anything to do with this, blah, 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 nah, you're still in the, in the, in the energy of manifesting this by take, by cordoning yourself off, by removing yourself from some sort of drama, some sort of turmoil, whatnot, whatever you are in fact helping to facilitate what it is you're trying to pull into your life or whatever it is you're destined towards. Okay. Wheel of fortune underneath the wheel of fortune told you judgment, higher calling destiny alignment underneath judgment you have ooh, you have the chariot and then underneath the chariot you have the queen of cups all right those are two cancerian energies you might have cancer in your chart you might be dealing with a cancer um but 
ultimately, this is uh, the Queen of Cups, in, in my opinion, as a reader, is a symbol of empathy, okay? Is a symbol of uh, psychic awareness, psychic attunement, empathic awareness, empathic ability. It's also a, com a, a, a represent representation of divine feminine energy, okay? Or, or just feminine energy. Um, it's also a representation of being aware of your emotions, keeping your emotions in check. And that's beautiful as to, in terms of removing yourself from some sort of destructive or some sort of like uh, lose-lose situation with that Five of Swords energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. Um, but also, especially with the chariot here, okay, the chariot is about emotional balance, all right, and moving forward in terms of what it is you truly want out of life, um, keeping your emotions in check, keeping your emotions in balance, being very aware of your feelings, and protecting yourself, especially with this Queen of Cups energy, which represents um, empathy and whatnot, uh, empathic nature. There is definitely a need to protect your energy right now, and that's exactly what you're doing. Okay, you're very much in alignment with the universe right now, with your higher self, with your destiny, with your calling, all of that. You're very much in alignment with that. And I definitely feel like you're in an energy of being very empathically aware of what's going on around you, even if you are not necessarily in the physical vicinity of some things that you are picking up on. Again, that is intuitive energy right there, okay? Intuitive ability. With this Queen of Cups energy, I just get the feeling that you're you're taking your emotions, your emotional reality very, very seriously. You are not fucking around with that. Because you are you are very aware of how important your emotional reality is. How important it is for you to be aware of your what your emotions are representing or showing you at any given time and keeping your energies in check. Which is exactly why you are removing yourself from any sort of destructive energies, any sort of destructive tendencies with that Five of Swords. That absolutely could represent substance abuse as well. That's a beautiful energy, Taurus. That is a really beautiful energy, Taurus. Let's get moving. Let's move forward. First half, second half of your reading. You could look at it as first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates. Yes? Okay. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Ace of Wands. Well, there you go. There is definitely a new creative direction that you're looking to move in right now. Um, you're feeling inspired towards something. I'm even getting, especially with this, uh, this judgment card here, I'm getting that even though you're, you're feeling inclined towards moving towards a new direction, you may not necessarily know exactly where that's going to lead you. But there is, I am feeling like there's, there's this impetus, there's this inspiration to start something new, try a new creative endeavor. For some of you, I feel like you want to move, like move homes. You're feeling inspired to, you know, move to a new location, move to a better space for you that might facilitate some of these creative endeavors for you. The chariot can represent moving as well. Movement, it can also represent travel, maybe even overseas travel. But there is, de you're definitely feeling inspired towards moving in a new direction, especially with all of that. Look, look, you have all this major arcana in your overall energy also, the Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, and Chariot. Whatever it is you're feeling inspired to move towards, Taurus, it's absolutely in line with your destiny. Again, I'm also getting an energy of you're not exactly sure how this is going to work out, but you have the utmost faith in the universe at this point. So you're actually very, very excited about it is what I'm feeling. Ace of Wands is coupled with the star. I told you, whatever it is you're, you're, feeling, you're feeling guided to, 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 to embark on, to undertake, to move towards whatnot, whatever, you again, you don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. That is part of the mystery of the star. But also, the star represents faith. Okay? Moving forward with faith. It also represents wish fulfillment. And yes, it can represent healing. But I feel like you've done, and I just heard that, you've done most of your healing right now. But the healing that you've done, especially represented by this Queen of Cups energy, right? The healing that you've done has allowed you to embody greater faith, not only in yourself, but in the universe and in the process, in the process of the universe, Wheel of Fortune, okay? This is really, I mean, this is beautiful so far, Taurus. 
My, my, my. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading. Eight of Wands. There you go. There's that movement. There's that movement. Some of you really do want to move, change homes. But the Eight of Wands is very similar to the Chariot energy. It's fast moving, very quickly moving. And I feel like what the Eight of Wands is representing here is clear and open air, clear and open energy for you to embark on a brand new journey, for sure. Eight of Wands is coupled with, what did I just say? The Fool, there you go. Clear and open air for you to take a leap of faith, to move in a new direction, to move in a new direction. So, again, I am getting a strong sense of the fact that you are in an energy or in a process of starting something new, a new creative adventure. You don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. You don't know exactly how it's going to lead you there. If you're feeling any doubt in terms of that, please do not worry about it, okay? You are being divinely guided here. This all is serving a purpose. Again, you don't quite know what the purpose is. And that's exactly what the high priestess was saying in your the beginning of your, in your, your reading with that pre-shuffle energy, right? So don't worry about the details. The universe has that under control. Right now, you just focus on what you're inspired to do and move in that direction faithfully. Yes? Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Taurus. The hermit. Following your inner light. And I just heard guidance is key. So, so following your inner guidance here. Look at how much major arcana you have, Taurus. First of all, your overall energy is all major arcana, except for the Queen of Cups that's at the bottom of the deck right now. But every step of the way so far, you have major arcana, the star, the fool, the hermit. Your challenge here right now with the hermit is following your inner light, following the guidance that you're receiving. Normally, that wouldn't be a challenge, especially with how far you've come I'm feeling, Taurus, but it's a challenge right now, again, because of the star energy, because you don't know exactly how things are going to turn out. You don't know exactly where it's going to lead you. You just know that you're inspired to move in a certain direction, and you really need to follow that, okay? The hermit is coupled with temperance, more major arcana, Taurus. Now, the hermit with temperance is saying to you, that you need to be patient. There is some sort of integration that's happening here. And that's part of the direction that you're being led in. <clears throat> the direction that you're being inspired to move towards is facilitating this integration, this balancing aspect of the counterparts within yourself, masculine and feminine, light, dark, good, bad. That's also represented here by the chariot. You see with the two sphinxes that represent the light and the dark, right? There are opposing sides, but they're only, they're, 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 yes, they're opposing sides, but also they're two parts of the same whole, okay? They're, they, they, they connect to make, you know, a greater whole, right? I'm hearing with this challenge, I'm hearing you got, you need to trust us, but that's coming from the universe. You already, have, you already are pretty good and solid on that. But also patience is key here for you, Taurus, because there is a lot of fast moving energy between the chariot and, and, well, the eight of wands, but also the fool. There is a lot of fast moving energy here, but patience is key, okay? I just, interesting, I just heard timing is of the essence, but I guess that's divine timing. Ah, yes, the Wheel of Fortune. They just reminded me of that, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yep, you're right. The divine timing is at play here. You are feeling called towards something new, okay? You just gotta have faith and move in that direction. I'm hearing slowly but surely, but I feel like, I feel like that's um, reassurance for us Torrens that are not always trying to move that quickly. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so your closing message or potential outcome here for the first half of your reading, Taurus. Oh my God, 
The Ten of Cups, Taurus. Oh my God, this is such a beautiful reading. You're moving towards, you're moving towards your wish fulfillment. And what I'm hearing, what I'm, well, not what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing here, Taurus, for you. I'm seeing a family, I'm seeing a home, I'm seeing a career, I'm, I'm, and I'm feeling, uh, like I'm literally, I'm literally seeing a farmhouse. That's like your, your little oasis, your little, your little neck of the woods away from a bunch of people, away from the drama, away from just everything and just being able to live your best life. I mean, it's being represented that way for me because that's kind of how I see my ideal, you know, my ideal living situation. Like, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I love New York City. I, I grew up in New York. I love New York, but I would also love to be able to just live out in nature, all right? Um, so that's, so however that would look for you, that's what I'm seeing here with this 10 of cups. Okay. This is your closing message or potential outcome. And with all that we've been talking about here, you are absolutely on your way towards this 10 of cups. 10 of cups is coupled with, Ooh, the seven of cups though, but there is a little bit of confusion. You're like, okay, well, how am I going to get there? Well, that's your practical side coming through. All right. Don't worry about that. Again, let the universe handle all the, the, the details for you, all right? You just, okay, you just focus on what it is you need to do to clear a way, to figure out, actually, to identify what the, actually this Ten of Cups may look like for you as well. That's also what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups here, okay? But also, Taurus, what I'm getting with this Seven of Cups energy to ease the, the, the practical mind of the practical side of your mind that's kind of maybe having <laughs> a fit, maybe a, maybe a, even a little bit of a panic attack. <clears throat> what the universe is saying here is there are infinite ways that we can bring this to you. You don't have to worry about the details. Let us handle that. All right, Taurus? All you got to do is follow through with the, with the inspiration that you are receiving right now or at this moment, or at this moment in time, or whenever, whenever this reading is resonating for you. All you have to do is move forward on faith. You are very well equipped for that, all right? Because if you are resonating with this reading right now, you have been doing the work that you needed to do in order for the universe to, to lead you forward on faith, okay? Is, I hope that's making sense. All right, Taurus. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. I do feel like we might be running into a little bit of trouble here, but I'm, what I'm hearing is circumstances are, are, are going to be explained here, but let's see. I mean, maybe that's just, <laughs> maybe that's just my ego being all doomsday or like, well, we had such positive energy here. Where is the, where, when's that second shoe gonna drop? And maybe you're kind of feeling that way too. All right, well, let's see, <laughs> let's see what we're getting into. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading for the month of November, Taurus, you have, whoa, the sun. Well, shit. <laughs> That's not so bad at all, is it? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I was picking up on a little bit of a doomsday energy for you. It's like, all right, when's that next shoe going to drop? I mean, it all can't be gumdrops and ra rainbows. So there's got to be some clouds that are going to roll in at some point, right? Well, check it out, Taurus. You're starting your second out, the second half of your reading here with the sun. So, and I'm, I'm, uh, the sun is the most optimistic card in the deck, you guys. So like whatever else is going to come. So maybe, okay, maybe this is a little bit of a primer, right? Because maybe this is going to say to you, don't let whatever else comes out here dash your hopes. Okay. Because it's really not even that bad. It's not that serious. It's not as bad as you might think it will be. Okay. I'm also getting success with the sun. Whatever it is you're being led towards here in the first half, whatever this is describing for you here, I'm getting success with the sun. The sun is coupled with, good golly, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. Career, um, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups too, guys. Wow, Taurus. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is so far out of all of the Zodiac readings for this month, some of them have been a little bit rough. This is the, by far the best one so far. I'm not done yet with all of the Zodiac readings. I still have a few more to go, but so far this by far is the best one 
Taurus, congratulations. But the sun with the 10 of pentacles is saying to me that whatever it is you are embarking on with long-term goals in mind, absolutely 100% going to be successful, regardless of whatever, bump, whatever bumps in the road you may face, going to be successful, okay? Wow, that's great. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading, justice. <laughs> and I really do feel like this is long-awaited justice. Long, long time coming, very long time. Look, Taurus, can we just discuss how much major arcana you have? You have major arcana every step of the way, except for your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here. And that is by no means anything to shake a finger at, to thumb your nose at, okay? No way. 10 of cups with the seven of cups, you have a plethora of options. But this long-term, and this, this is long, we're now we're looking, yes, we're definitely looking long-term in the second half of the reading here, but what this is saying to you is there is definitely about to be some justice that is served in your life. And I really do feel like you have a hand in this because of all the, prepar the prepare, pre preparing work you've done. Preparatory, the prep work you've done in healing and, and working on you and, and, and working on being your best self. It's all about to pay off, Taurus. Justice is coupled with the nine of pentacles, Taurus. Independent, strong, firm, and, and, and yes, justice is being served here because you are standing on your own two feet. You are standing firm in who you truly are. You're trusting yourself. You're trusting the universe. You're, you have a deep sense of identity, a deep sense of who you are, and that is absolutely paying off. To be quite honest, what I'm getting from this is this is exactly what the universe has been asking us for this whole time. Honor yourself. Be true to who you are. Embody the person that you have been made to be, regardless of the circumstances that is going to bring you justice. This is so beautiful, Taurus. I can't. I, I just cannot. This is so beautiful. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the King of Cups. Why do I feel like this is someone else? First of all, it is someone else. Because looky here. Boop. Queen of Cups. Counterparts. Told you. I told you we were dealing with counterparts here. But of, and of course, of course, this is your challenge. Why? Because this is the masculine. And now that you're in this independent energy here, nine of pentacles, justice, here comes the masculine sniffing around, right? <laughs> oh man, oh man. All right, no worries. The king of cups is coupled with, oh. Well, you know, that's funny because I was going to say, in the back of my head, I just said, please do not let this be the Five of Swords. Well, okay. It's not the Five of Swords. It is the Five of Cups, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Here comes the masculine with his tail between his legs. Now, it doesn't have to be that, though, Taurus. This could be you still dealing with some sort of pain or heartbreak or sorrow, guilt, shame, uh, remorse, or mournful energy surrounding a masculine counterpart. All is not lost though, Taurus. Two of Cups. All is not lost. All is not lost here, especially since with temperance at, uh, over here in the challenge in the first half of your re Oh, shit. Oh God, the tor okay, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm being really dramatic right now, but for some of you, you're gonna understand why I'm being so dramatic because I just realized, I just realized something. I was looking at temperance, which is your, in your challenge for the first half of your reading with the hermit, right? You are on a path of self-discovery 
uh, and you're walking, you're, you're, you're fully embodying that path, right? With temperance here, you have the two of cups, which is two energies, two integral parts of one of the same whole, the counterparts, whatnot, coming together, manifesting a union is what I'm hearing because temperance does represent uh, a twin flame or divine counterpart union, right? And that's what you have here with the five of cups in these two cups that are that have not spilled. These all of this three cups and three of cups energy has spilled. Third party situations, um, which could be uh, other lovers, it could be friends, family, business situations, business partners, whatnot, whatever. Uh, third party situations don't always have to be another romantic situation. It can be any anyone else that is just causing trouble, right, for a counterpart situation. Okay. Um, but I also just realized that the hermit also <laughs> represents Virgo energy. <laughs> anyway, um, but with that said, you have Cancer, you have Aquarius. Uh, I don't know what the fool represents. You have Sagittarius with uh, with uh, temperance here. You have Leo with the sun. You have Libra with justice. You have Scorpio with the king of cups. You also have Cancer with the queen of cups. That's at the bottom of the deck. And it's so crazy because when we're, what we were talking about in the pre-shuffle, right, was someone, the feminine counterpart here most likely, is removing themselves from the situation represented by the three of wands which is waiting on yes which is the counterpart situation which is waiting on a return for an investment but is not getting involved because of that five of swords energy so here the challenge what i'm picking up on is the strongest thing that i'm getting that i'm picking up on this uh that i'm picking on up on for you guys is with the king of cups and the five of cups this is the masculine counterpart dealing with the regret the remorse and the shame having to do with whatever that Five of Swords energy was, okay? But this is also you, Taurus, to a certain extent, because I do feel like most of you have gotten over this, which is why you are able to Queen of Swords your, your way out of that situation, or at least away from the drama, and you're focused on working on you, right? But now the challenge is dealing with the masculine counterpart. So especially with this Queen of Cups energy, you may be picking up on the pain, the sorrow, the regret, the remorse, the shame, whatnot, whatever, that your masculine counterpart is dealing with. Sips coffee. <laughs> and especially with all of this beautiful energy going on for you, Taurus, yes, that can be a challenge. That can feel like a weight pulling you down, but you don't have to let it be that. Just recognize it for what it is and work on dealing with it yourself because just because, yes, you can say that the masculine is dealing with this, oh, this is coming from my masculine counterpart, blah, 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 but also it's something you're dealing with too because you two are two parts of the same whole, all right? So just keep that in mind. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have, there's that three of wands again. <laughs> all right. I mean, it is what it is, right? Oh boy. Okay. You're on the right path. You're on the same path that you've always been on. It may look different, Taurus, but you're on the same path. And it might look different, but that's because you've made some necessary changes. Which is facilitating all the rest of this beautiful energy. So okay, no problem. Three of Wands is coupled with the Page of Cups. Reconciliation is on its way. It feels like reconciliation is the next step on this path for you. Just follow your intuition, Taurus. Follow your intuition, that's all. You don't need to focus on this. You, all you need to do is focus on maintaining your balance, maintaining your abundance, and, and figuring out and, and moving forward with whatever you're inspired towards here, okay? The Page of Cups is also the dreamer energy. So you are on, so this uh, is another instance of saying that you are on the right path towards um, your dreams being fulfilled, okay? However that may look. Okie dokie, let's get your oracle guidance here, Taurus. This is a really beautiful reading though. I'm not gonna lie, this is excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent.
Okay, here we go. Here's your oracle guidance, please. Spirit, oracle guidance from a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. The Elf Queen. Hmm. Is it the Elf Queen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one to take there. I'm not sure which one to take there. Uh, I looked at the elf queen. I didn't. That, that didn't. That didn't make sense. It was the, either the elf queen or the green witch. The green witch felt like it was more the right energy for you. The elf queen just didn't make sense. And now nothing's coming back out. I want to go with, um, I, honestly, my intuition is telling me to go with the Green Witch. But, you know what? I don't want to, uh, well, it fell out, so, okay. All right, all right. I'm being super indecisive right now, you guys. Um, so we're going to, we're actually, yeah, we're going to go with the Green Witch. That was that, yeah, that makes way more sense. The Elf Queen, though? You know what, Taurus? You get two. Let me see. Where is the Elf Queen? Because also, it, it might fit too. All right, we're going to take both of those then. The Elf Queen and the Green Witch. And we're going to read them. So you get a little bit of a bonus here, Taurus. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, let's start with the Elf Queen. Which is card number 13, which is a, a, a card of a, a number of change. All right, death even. Introverted, burden, responsibility. Here you go. You have responsibilities that have accumulated to the point that you no longer feel free. You have dimmed your own bright light and the world longs for you to shine once again. One by one, I ask you to take these burdens, anything that feels heavy, whose energy that does not come from love, but from fear, any demands and expectations that no longer meet your needs, and release them with love. There is no rejection in this gesture. It is simply time to reestablish your own personal boundaries. You may have been carrying burdens that rightly belong to other people. Please release these now. Oh my God, this makes perfect sense. This is actually lining up with the pre-shuffle energy that was coming through. Okay. Without this clearing, you may well feel you are carrying too much on your own shoulders and are unable to see the path ahead of you. As you release the beginnings of the sweet and tender, I'm sorry, as you release the beginnings of the sweet and tender freedoms that, you, that are your birthright will make themselves known to you. You are now free to love and care for others more effectively as you will be acting out of love, not forcing yourself. If you clearly ask for support, other people will love and support you in all that you do. Beautiful. And then finally, you have the green witch, which is card number seven. And normally I don't take two, but these are actually fairly short in description, so it's not going to take too long. So I'm going to take both of them. You have the Green Witch, fresh new spring. When you, are a pure, when you are pure of heart, the whole world is full of potential. And this is the message from this innocent Green Witch to you. She is green, as in the fresh new shoot from the seed pushing urgently towards the sun. She is green and connected to the earth, flowing with the cycles of nature. She is green in that she looks as much to the natural world for company, friendship, and fulfillment as you currently do fellow humans. She is your reminder to begin to reconnect to the wild green world, to the fairy forest all about you, to go back to a place where you empty yourself of expectations and stories and knowledge and just admit that in some circumstances and in some times, you are as a babe. You are newborn. You are newborn. And in that moment of unknowingness and of admitting and embracing your own powers of renewal, you can finally learn what it is you are here to learn. Be not so certain or so experienced with this card. Oh, I'm sorry. Be not so certain or so experienced when this card comes to you. Be new, be fresh, be unwise, be unknowing, be innocent. 
and then the new cycle can truly begin. Wow, I'm really glad I took both of those cards because they actually lined up quite well with what's going on here. But there you have it, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Bye.